three ways to get your first sale fast on Redbubble. If you're interested in that, then keep on watching this video till the end. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Parshvika. Welcome to my Global IT Magazine page channel where we make content for artists and creative entrepreneurs talking about the print-on-demand websites, online art business ideas, a little bit about the online entrepreneurship. So in today's video, I'm going to talk, uh, talk my top three tips to get your first sale fast on Redbubble. So if you are interested in that and if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. And it does really matters to me, guys, if you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so whenever I upload more such videos, you'll be getting notified about it. Now, there are many ways to increase or boost your Redbubble sales and I have made so many videos on this channel talking about the Redbubble, how to boost the sale, the three ways, the reasons why aren't you are getting the sales. If you want a complete playlist for all those videos, so you can check that in the description box below or either on the card, you can check. I've also made a complete free guide uh, which contains 60 plus sub popular niche ideas for your red bubble for your print on demand journey on which you can make your designs and can sell on this platform and if you want to download this free guide that i'm putting the link of, of this free guide in the description box below you can download it completely for free now let's get started with the main part of the video guys so the first method of the first step that i have for you is optimizing your designs for all the products now I have talked a lot about this point in many of my videos, you can check that out videos as well but I want to tell you it's really really important because on Redbubble they are adding more new products to maybe a month or maybe like they are keep on adding the new products to their platform. So what you can do, you can just actually be aware, you can actually be active about it and whenever they upload new products, just activate your design or optimize your design for that new product as well. Because if you are the newcomer or if you are the one who are in the very beginning activating that particular product, you would be getting more chances to get your first sale fast. Because like when they were introducing the mask back a few months back, the Redbubble was introducing the mask on their uh, platform so when they were introducing it and I was like so excited about it and I was uploading my designs so I activated all my products onto the Redbubble uh, for my mask and optimize it according to it and I get most of my sale from the mask in the very beginning of that so that's why I'm talking about optimizing your products uh, for all the design which is so important let me give you give you one example if you have a pattern if you're uploading a pattern design so what you can do patterns look good on the curtains or the iPhone covers on the mobile covers on the tapestries on the duvet covers or the pillow covers or even the throw pillows, they look good on them. But if it doesn't look good on the uh, sticker because it just won the square big sticker, that's it. But what you can do instead, you can upload the same design, the same pattern and make a transparent PNG and upload it as a sticker pack instead of just uploading a pattern. It will really going to help you get a good boost because sticker pack sells so well first. Second, not many people are utilizing it. Third, since you are doing it, you are ahead of the game and you are optimizing your all product for the design which really makes you get more eyeballs for your shop and getting more sales fast. So if you are uploading like a pattern related to the uh, animals, if you are uploading a pattern related to a dinosaur, there are multiple different di dinosaurs in that pattern. What you can do for the stickers, you can create five to six sticker in one sticker pack for that pattern and you will going to see that you would be getting more eyeballs for that and you would be getting your first sale fast and also guys when the new products are coming onto the red bubble when the people have more than thousand designs or many multiple designs on their red bubble shop so they need to go on activate each and every product for that new particular product so not every people is doing that thing if you are the one who are doing it who are activating uh, your designs for every product if you are seeing that Redbubble is starting uh, like coming up with a new product they would be sending you, you an email for that and you would be aware of that and whenever it comes you just activate your product for that you would be seeing that you would be getting more traffic from that particular product because not many people are optimizing that function first not many people have utilized it have optimized their product 
have optimized the design for that new product and you are the one who are doing it so you would be getting more eyeballs and would be ranking higher for that particular product so i hope it makes some sense because it was making some sense for me back when i was uploading the design optimizing my design for the mask and i get my first sale on the red bubble by the mask only and i'm getting more sales by mask only so that was the thing although many products are selling on my shop but one of the major product that was selling so well is the mask Moving on to the second tip that I have for you is trends. Now people talk about trends a lot. What I can tell you guys, you can do one thing like create a design in trends as well and then create some designs in evergreen. Like create a combination of these two designs so that when trends are on high, suppose it's a holiday season and it's a Christmas season, New Year season, people are actually going and buying for the Christmas designs, the New Year's design and you are the one who have there in the trends so you would be getting more eyeballs so you have trend as well and when that trends gets over when the trends is not there anymore you have designs related to the evergreen niches as well so you will be getting continue to get more sales more sales and it would lead to you getting more consistent sales and thereby ranking your shop higher onto the search engine onto the red bubble because the more because the more sales you get for your shop, the Redbubble will know that your designs are selling. It's a social proof, so they would be ranking you higher onto their search engine. I will be more beneficial for you to rank well on their search engine and would be getting more sales and so on. Like this, and I am also trying to do the same thing for my own shop. Like in the beginning, I didn't follow the trends because I wasn't into the trends but then when I saw that I was getting sales for the evergreen so I started following the trends as well so create a combination when the trends is on high I'll be getting sales more from the trend and when the trend is gone I'll be getting more sales from my evergreen niches so creating a right balance between that it really the last step of this video guys I hope so far you are enjoying this video if you did give it a big thumbs up because it matters me a lot and subscribe to my channel so whenever I upload more such videos you will be getting notified about the third and the last tip that I have for you in promotion and marketing. Now promotion marketing plays a big role. Obviously you'll be getting the organic traffic. You'll be getting the You'll be getting the organic traffic from the Redbubble and you'll be getting the organic sales as well. But to get your first sale fast, you can do the promotion and marketing. And I already made a video talking about the seven ways, seven free ways to promote your Redbubble shop completely for free. So you can check that video out. I'm linking that video in the description box below and also I made another video as well talking about how to promote your Redbubble shop onto the Pinterest and you can check that video out as well guys because it's really helpful and if we go for promotion and marketing you don't need to go with the paid methods if you are not into that paying option other than that apart from that if you're not into the paying option there are so many free ways in which you can promote it the first and foremost way that I find most useful for my shop as well is the Pinterest now Pinterest is not a type of a social media platform it's a type of basically a search engine where people actually go looking for ideas are looking for different researches and all that and when they see something popping up they actually go click on that and buy that thing if they are interested into that if you're promoting your designs where uh, Pinterest you'll be getting more organic tra more traffic from the Pinterest and you don't need many followers to grow onto the Pinterest like on Instagram and Facebook you need to have more followers same as on the YouTube you need to have more subscribers to get your stuff in front of the more people but on the Pinterest it's not like that you just need to upload the pins and you're slowly going to see that you are getting more monthly visitors each month and that visitors will really going to convert it into the uh, your red bubble shop customers and actually buying from you and do one thing in the beginning of opening up a shop on the red bubble you can just promote it onto the pinterest or even if you want to promote it onto the instagram or facebook groups or whatever you can promote it and when you are getting sales and when you are getting consistent sales from your red bubble shop and then you would be seeing that you would be getting more organic traffic from the red bubble because your designs are selling well on the Redbubble and Redbubble is having a proof that this person's shop is selling well. So they will be ranking you higher onto the search engine of the Redbubble and after that even if you don't promote that much onto the social media but you are still will be getting the organic sales from the Redbubble. So this strategy you can follow it because I am also doing it right now. I am telling you all those things based on my own personal experience. 
so far with the red bubble and it's working for me so maybe it works for you as well so i hope you enjoyed today's video next time guys take care bye